Hi everybody, uh, it's Tracy from Pet Eden. Um, I just thought I'd do a quick uh, live today, my first real live. Um, I just wanted to talk about the um, one of the six myths of grief uh, that we cover from um, the grief recovery method. Um, it's a pet hate of mine, <laughs> um, but I hear it all the time, which is really sad. Um, and that is that um, you should replace the loss. Now, um, as you would know, you can replace a tire on a car if it's flat. You can replace an earring if it goes missing. Um, but you can never replace the loss of a loved one. So um, it kind of saddens me that we hear it way too often. Um, how many times have you heard, you know, um, well, I'm sorry that Benji died, um, but, you know, there's heaps of dogs in the refuge that are looking for homes. Um, and you know, there's not, there's no way that we would ever say to a person who's grieving the loss of their dad, um, oh, it's all right, go down to Kmart and you can get another dad. Um, so yeah, it's, it's very hurtful and, um, it's, it's a society thing that I'd love to change, but, um, I think it's just how we kind of, um, how we handle it is is the best thing so um, yeah unfortunately we hear it um, way too often and then our kids you know pick up on that as well and they think that things are irre uh, that things are replaceable um, you know just go down to the pet shop and get another one um, they don't understand that it's a unique um, res <laughs> I've gone blank um, a unique relationship that we have with our pets um, it's the same as you know I had a different relationship with my dad that my sister had with my dad and my brother had with my dad um, you, you can't replace that it's irreplaceable um, so I guess my message today would be that um, unfortunately we do hear um, well-meaning people say mean things um, and when you are ready to emotionally ready to get another pet to love because I know how hard it can be um, when you lose a pet your um, routine goes out the window you know you get up at seven o'clock and you feed the cats um, you walk the dog after work you feed the bud uh, you change the budgies cage um, every week um, so those little things that aren't really little um, they yeah, the the, the, um, the routine is, is all different. So when that pet is not there, what do you do to fill that void? Um, so, yeah, when, if and when you're ready to get another pet, just make sure that you um, go through the grieving process first, that you don't just rush into getting another um, pet to love straight away. Um, yeah, the... You, you need to create that bond with that new pet and um, it's very hard not to compare um, you know fluffy didn't jump on the couch and, and ruin the couch what this one does um, yeah the, there's different um, it's going to be a different relationship again so yeah <laughs> um, I guess the other thing is um, before moving on to getting a new pet um, you know do, do take the time to um, remember good memories. Um, keep lots of the photos around on your phone, around the house. Um, some people have a little shrine. Um, like I think I've put a photo of mine, uh, my guys with their urns on, on my page. Um, yeah, I, I walk past them nearly every day and, um, you know, just have a little quick, you know, I love you to them. Um, they're never forgotten from my thoughts. Um, so yeah, it's, it is hard losing a pet. I'm not going to deny that. Um, we talk about this in our empathy sessions as well. Um, I guess, yeah, the take home message is take time to grieve. Don't replace the loss, um, because you never can replace what you've lost in a loved pet. Thanks for watching.